Have you ever thought about creating a game in the most unlikely place, like Google Sheets? Well, I took on the challenge and today I'm going to show you exactly how I created a playable version of Tetris inside Google Sheets. You may ask, why should anyone create Tetris in Google Sheets? It all started as a silly idea. Could I bring a beloved retro game to life in an unusual environment like a spreadsheet app? It sounded impossible, but that's what made it exciting. Tetris is a game we all know and love. It's simple yet addictive, with falling blocks and at satisfying moments when you clear a line. So my goal was to recreate that magic with Google Sheets. To realize this vision, it's important to find a way to write and execute code inside Google Sheets. And this is possible with AppScript, a scripting language based on JavaScript that can be used to execute code inside Sheets. With AppScript, I had the possibility to implement my functionality and to recreate Tetris. So let's start from here. First, I created two files in AppScript, the Tetris.js and the sidebar HTML file. The Tetris.js file handles all the game logic and the sidebar HTML will be used as a controller to interact with the game and to show our current score. In the Tetris.js file, I started with the Tetris grid, which was actually very easy. I just used my script to shrink down the cells to equally sized blocks, turning each cell into a single block field, much like pixels on an old console. With this grid, I could now show any block type Tetris has to offer. To define all possible blocks, I defined constant variables for the Tetris pieces and their colors. I also defined a start game method, which is our entry point for starting the script. At first, the start game method makes sure everything is initialized and reset to default state. After setting up the game state, our method goes into a loop that represents our game loop. Inside the game loop, we first have to check if our player had clicked on the restart button to interrupt and restart a game at any time. And we have to save all the values that will be changed by our sidebar HTML file into the script properties of the app script property service. This workaround has to be used just because the sidebar HTML couldn't call functions of the already running Tetris.js script. After we have checked if the player restarted the game, we call our gametick function. This function is very similar to the update method in Unity because it is called frequently and inside the gametick function we do process all the things needed to run the game logic. Before and after the gametick function we need to check the time our function needed to run. This is important for the timing of our next function call. Because we only wait for the time left until we reach 500 milliseconds in total. The only time our game tick will be called after more than 500 milliseconds would be if the game tick itself needs more than 500 milliseconds. In this case we don't have to wait any longer and repeat the loop immediately as long as the finished variable is false. Beside the Tetris.js file I also created the sidebar HTML file which will be used to interact with a game and make user inputs possible by pressing the control buttons or using the arrow keys on the keyboard. When we start a game, we only have to make sure to click inside our sidebar once to set it into focus. Otherwise, our arrow keys input would not be catched by the sidebar HTML and we just move around on our sheet grid. After we inserted both files, we also have to accept the script to interact with our sheets. Without this permission, Google won't let us run our script. And now finally, the moment of truth. Everything is set up. We can go to our sheet, click on the Tetris menu option and click on start game to run our game script. And we did it! Tetris is running inside Google Sheets. To interact with the game we can use the buttons on the sidebar or simply use our arrow keys. Left and right to move our current block, up to rotate it and down to speed it up. While playing you can see that it's a bit laggy sometimes, this is probable our game tick function sometimes taking longer than 500 milliseconds. But I'm sure you could recreate a lot of good games inside Google Sheets, especially games where you don't have any fast updates like in Tetris. Chess for example would be way easier because the respawn time don't have to be that fast and the chessboard can be easily represented by the grid cells. By the way, in the video description you will find a download link for all the game files to try it out and adjust the game by yourself. Just copy the code of both files into your app script, make sure the file names in your app script are the same and then you can run the script inside your Google Sheets to play. 
That's it, Tetris fully functional and playable right in Google Sheets. And it's not just a game, it's proof that with a little creativity you can bring fun even to the most unexpected places. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more crazy projects like this, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what game you would like to see inside Google Sheets. Thank you for watching and see you next time.